Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you another way to use these textures that you might not be familiar with, which is using it for lighting effects. So I have one of the textures from this deal open and I'm going to click Filter, Render, Lighting Effects. And you'll see that it loads this interface where you can create and move lights and change settings and all that. So I've already kind of set this up beforehand, but you can see I've created a light source that looks like it's coming from the top and pointing down. Um, the properties over here I just have, they're pretty basic. The intensity is at 25, that's kind of the brightness. Uh, the hot spot is, as you can see, how big the hot spot of the light is. And I'm not really going to go over the rest of them except for texture because that's what I want to show you guys. So under texture you see there's red, green, and blue and you can set the texture of the red, green, or blue channel to be used by the lighting effects to display a bump map which will make your texture look more 3D. And if none of that made sense then just keep watching and you'll see what I mean. So if I click red you'll see that immediately this texture looks like it's more 3D and that's because it uses the red channel to create highlights and shadows based on that information. So if you slide the height slider to the right, you'll see that it gets very dramatic. Um, and if you go to the right, what you're telling Photoshop is that the white or bright areas should look like they're coming out towards you, and the darker areas should be recessed back away from you. And if you go the opposite way, then white is low and black is high. So I'm just going to do negative two just to give you guys an example of what you can do. So once I hit OK, you'll see that we have now a much more 3D looking texture. There's the before. It's a nice texture. You could use it for a lot of things, but with a little lighting effects, you get a totally different look that you can use on top of other layers and for a whole bunch of other purposes. I'm also going to show you now how to use this texture as a bump map on other layers. So first I'm going to copy this texture and I'm going to open this other document that I created. And with the layer selected, I'm going to go to the channels palette, click create new channel button. So I created a new channel here and I'm going to paste that in and then turn back on the RGB, which is the red, green, and blue channels, and turn off the alpha channel so you can't see it. And then once I go back to the layers palette, I'm going to deselect this and click filter, render, lighting effects again. And now if I go down to the textures, you'll see red, green, and blue has no effect because our layer is just a flat color. But if I go and choose alpha, then it's going to use that texture as the information for the bump map. So now you can see that our plain colored background has some texture to it. So you can see how you go from the before and to the after, how you can use that to create a more 3D look. And now you can use this on top of other layers and in a whole bunch of other ways. So hope you guys learned something. Make sure you grab this week's deal, and I'll see you guys next time.